Welcome back to Team Forever, back again with another Big Brother video. And I know this is late, but I work nights while I'm out here on this vacation. If y'all stuck with me through this Big Brother uh, reviews, y'all know that I usually do my reviews somewhere else, but I'm on vacation right now. Y'all would know if y'all watched my last one, but uh, it's like 4 in the morning, 5 in the morning, so 4 in the morning probably. I mean, I just watched the episode. I'm about to review it, but let me just say, or the season finale. I'm about to review it, but let me just say that when I was on my break, like I was avoiding spoilers and I was doing a good job because my first break was at 10. So actually, I guess it, the show wasn't going off yet, but I was avoiding spoilers. I was doing good. During my second break, was, which was at like two in the morning, I literally opened my phone, just opened the phone. I'm avoiding Twitter because I don't really get Big Brother stuff on my Facebook. And I'm kind of never, I, I'm avoiding it on Instagram too because I might scroll past it because I do follow Big Brother. So for some reason, I open my mess, my phone and I get a notification that drops down from CBS says, congratulations, Jackson, on being a new winner. And I'm like, I literally never, ever, ever get notified from Twitter. Like even if somebody DM me, I don't get notifications from Twitter ever. And why would I get notified that somebody tweeted something? I don't have that. Like, when did Twitter start that? I don't get notified that people tweeted stuff. So I'm like, what is this? Like, I was so mad. I honestly was so mad that I ended up leaving work because I was just so pissed off. Like, why did this happen? How did this happen? I was confused. But anyway, I wasn't that mad that, like, I was spoiled because I'm pretty sure everybody knew Jackson was going to win. When we knew that the final two was between, the final eight race was between Jackson and Holly, we knew that they were gonna take each other and that Jackson was probably gonna win. We knew that, unless Holly won and evicted Jackson, which I predicted. I didn't predict, but I said that would be pretty badass. Let's get to the video or the review. So the first HOH, I don't remember what it what it was, but I know it was crazy. It was like an obstacle course they had to do like 25 coins. Nicole messed up on the puzzle. Like, what the heck? Like, I was really rooting for her, but she just, she was messing up. She was messing up. But the first HOH, like, I feel like it should have been endurance. I feel like it should they should just did another endurance. Maybe the wall comp for that. Like, I don't know. But Jackson won anyway, so. But anyway, Jackson won it. It was between Jackson and Holly. Nicole was so far behind, but she was saying, like, never quit and all that stuff. Then we get to, oh, did we see the jury house segment in that last episode, too? I don't remember. But, actually, I don't, I don't know if we saw the jury house, but either way. We see that there's a new showman's or jury. Maybe I forgot to mention that in my last review because I didn't see the episode and I didn't know that Kat and Nick got together. And I'm really disappointed in Kat and a lot of people were because, ew, Nick, what the heck? But whatever. Uh, and to be honest, Bella had already dumped Nick. So I wish that they would have mentioned that inside this. Uh, and, and it's not like Bella's a good person either. And I'll get to that in a little bit later on. But, um,. So, Holly won the second part of the HOH, so it was the days, and I really liked that. But it was a rock climbing thing. But I actually really liked that competition. I actually liked that a lot. I think that should be the second part. Maybe not every single. I really liked that. I really liked the days. Like, I don't know how they remember all those days, but I guess Nana House, that's all they got to remember. Holly beat Nicole by like three minutes, and they like were shooting through this stuff like i was like damn why are they rushing through this stuff but i see why because the ending got cut short like <laughs> maybe we should have sped through this even more but i feel like they should have shown like why nicole lost how it took her longer because i know she got the question wrong a few more times than holly but i don't know i feel like they rushed through it a little bit too much so then jackson won the third part i actually really liked that jackson and holly were speeding through this and good on them because julie didn't have to say locking her in all that stuff i feel like she was giving them a lot of time though like holly would change but i thought about this later on I was like i don't think this season had one tiebreaker vote like like you know how it's a hoh and they doing the questions and it it comes down to a tiebreaker where they got to write down the answer like you remember the famous um what was it uh rachel when she was like trying to get and then she got like the wrong answer it was like this big huge number but i don't think it was any tiebreaker vote so i was really hoping this came down to a tiebreaker but it didn't because holly messed up which honestly i would have been holly in this competition i got everyone right except that one and when, even when holly was figuring out it's like did not did not oh did not i read that wrong i still didn't get it i thought like they got it wrong and they're about to have to mess up 
like redo this and be like, oh, sorry, we got it wrong. But then like, it took me like 15 minutes to realize that why that one was wrong. It took me till Holly said her speech. Cause I'm like, she did get zinged. So why is this like, I, so I, I, I would have been Holly. So I wouldn't have won that final HOH if I was going against Jackson. Cause I would have been exactly Holly. So, oh, I didn't even talk about the jury round table. That's what we started with. So Cliff goes, everybody, or goes, yeah, everybody knew it was about to be Cliff really. Like some people have predicted Jackson, but they knew it wasn't about to be him. So I don't really have much to say. So of course, Kat advocated for Holly. A lot of people advocated for Holly and somebody said like, well, Annalise just seemed like a hater this whole time. That's me saying this, not somebody else. But she just seemed like she just was rooting for Jackson. Like, she was like, uh, I don't get Nicole game, which is fine. I, I appreciate the honesty. But then with Holly, she's like, nope, I don't respect that game. She was a coattail rider. Okay. I feel like <laughs> Dr. Will kept throwing jokes at uh, Jack, <laughs> which I completely forgot he was on this season. Without that uh, battle back, like, the uh, he really, him and Kat, like, they were inside the jury so long ago. Like, maybe this should have been a seven-person jury. Well, that probably would have even been better if they had just made this a seven-person jury, got rid of Jack, and got rid of Cat. Yeah, the votes would have stayed the same and everything. So they could have got rid of Jack and Cat, as much as I like Cat, but got rid of them because they were just so irrelevant. They were evicted so long ago. But uh, Tommy, I don't, I don't really remember much from the jury roundtable. Uh, oh, Nick called out stuff like saying like you really thought he was going to Vic Holly like Cliff's an idiot. Yeah, he thought that. Um, so jury questions, jury questions, jury questions. Where am I? Oh, so we get to the live show. I don't talk about Nicole's interview. So Nicole's interview was really really nice. I like she's just an authentic person. I'm so glad she won America's Favorite Player, which we'll get to. I'm sorry, spoiler alerts, but. Uh, did I already say he evicted Nicole? Of course he evicted Nicole. It was down to the final two. Uh, Nick's asshole, I mean, uh, Nick being the asshole that he is, says that, um, here comes Nicole. Come out, Nicole. And, of course, Nicole comes out. It's now. Nicole had a good entrance, too. She went out with the cowboy hat. She kissed her picture. I thought she kissed Kimmy picture. and was like, that's my girl. But she actually kissed her own picture and said, that's my girl. I'm glad that she, I really liked her speech. Like, she thought, she preached to everybody to be a butterfly and she thought she was a butterfly coming into this house she realized she was a caterpillar and she's leaving a butterfly i loved uh, nicole is so authentic it's just her downside was that her alliance was picked off early the brains in her alliance was picked off early cat kimmy jet well i'm saying that ov well, shit. <laughs> they made some dumb decisions. I feel like Kimmy, well, Kimmy didn't make a decision. <laughs> so her alliance was picked off. Let's just say that. Whether they were good players or bad players, her alliance was picked off early. And then she only had Cliff and she listened to his dumb decisions. Jessica was wishy-washy and she couldn't really trust Jessica. Um, so we get to the jury questions and this was the best part. So Cliff asked Jackson about jury man. And Jackson gave the most handwritten answer. Like, he studied this and went over it, and he just read it. And I just thought it was so unauthentic. So unauthentic. So, Tommy asked Jackson about degrading women. And, again, he gave kind of a written, handwritten answer. Like, he thought he was about to get this. I did not like his answer at all. How many questions? She just went on and on and on and on and on. Just kept talk, 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 talking. She kept getting cut off by Julie, and Julie was getting a little snappy with her, which I didn't like. Holly had a very good point to Annalise's question, where she basically asked, like, did you play your own game? And she had a good point, and it did not sound like it was, like, handwritten and, like, practiced. It didn't sound like that. So I really liked her answer. Then Holly had another good answer to why she should win. Like, I really loved what she said. I really loved it. And I think I would have... Uh, no, nah, I, I would have definitely gave my vote to Holly because just as a person, I think she's better. And I think she did play a good game. It's not like she's a good person, but her game was trash and Jackson did what Jackson did. No, she played an okay game. She played an okay game. It's just that Jackson, it, it, it does look like he cared. But the, uh, the good point she made was, I don't think I was ever any of y'all targets. Like, was I ever? Like, yeah, Jackson and... And Holly, the pair, was a target. 
but when was I ever a target? I like that she said that. And she also mentioned, I thought this was kind of bad, though. It was good, though. She, I just, she said to Annalise, Jackson was taking out, like, you. And I took out big threats. Like, I took out Sam. I took out Nick. Because I thought they were similar to me. I thought that was a great answer. If only Annalise wasn't the one that asked it. <laughs> if somebody else asked it, she could have been like, yeah, Jackson took out, like, kind of, like, middle ground. Well, she tried to keep it real, real respectful, but. I feel like she has some good answers. I really do. But then, like, after this, Holly became irrelevant. Literally, for the rest of the show, after she gave this speech, she was irrelevant. It's kind of like I, I really, truly forgot that she was sitting next to Jackson after this. So Jackson gave his speech, and he mentioned have-nots. And I just thought that was like a slap in the face. And he shouldn't have been able to mention that because that how. And if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, Jackson actually cheated on the have-not diet, and that's why we didn't have have-nots for the rest of the season. So I really don't like that at all. And in his speech, he also said pretty much that if you don't vote for him, you're a, what's it called? Bitter juror. Because he basically said, you all said you would vote on on game. So please do that. So basically you're saying that your game was way better than Holly's. And if they don't do it, and I'm not reading too much into it. That That's literally what he said. He He's, well, not literally, but y'all get the point. So then, Jackson, oh, I already got that. Jack, yep, that's that. Vote for him or they're a bitter jury. Holly got cut off again. J like, uh, Julie is just so rude to me because, yeah, cut her off, laugh about it. That's what Arissa would have done in Canada, but she got to say, you both were told you got one minute during a commercial. Like, shut up. Shut the fuck up. Like, what? Oh, uh, anyway. So, pre-jury comes out. Best part of the season. I, I love seeing them, all of them. Actually, I don't think they talked to Sam. Not that I <laughs> they could at least let him say send it. They didn't even talk to Sam. But I guess, shit, the whole the pre-jury was minority, so they only talked to them. I mean, that's fine. They could at least, like, ask Sam because he actually got a chance to go back and watch it. So what's his perspective on it? Like, they could have done that. Uh, Pre-jury. Oh, oh, I loved, loved Ovi's talk. Uh, when Ovi spoke. He got that down to a T. And yes, it sounded rehearsed. Yes, it sounded like it was handwritten and he was reading off a script like Jackson because I just criticized Jackson for that, right? But this, he could have done it. Like, this is not like an answer to like, but this is something serious. And he, he, I feel like this light is so in my glasses. But anyway, I loved when he talked. Everything he said and he spoke with passion about it. The only thing that I kind of was like, okay, it wasn't just Nicole. Let's just put that out there because they made it seem like it was only Nicole. No, David knocked on that door too. So they didn't let David in. Uh, let's not forget, Ovi knocked on the door. Ovi tried to get in and like, he couldn't get in either. Nicole was shaking her head yes and she she said that she forgave all them because that's how her mama raised her. And I love that because that just made them seem even worse. I hated that Christy was laughing during this too because Christy, don't do that. You're supposed to be my favorite. So, oh, this is them speaking all about grateful. So, Kimmy, it was Kimmy's time to talk, and I love this because she she literally called out. Sorry if y'all can hear the air that just cut on. Um, let me see if I can turn that off. Sorry about that, y'all. So, she literally called out Jack, Jackson, Nick, and Christy by name, and I really like that. I personally feel like Christy gets a lot of flack. And I wish that I could see the thing that she actually said about Kimmy. I really want, I, I, I just don't, I don't know. So I want I want to see what she actually said that was so. Actually, I do remember her having Kimmy's name in her mouth a lot about like, and just, like she does mention her a lot. I will say that. But I don't think she said nothing that was like so, so horrible. Like, like I don't think she should be in the same category as Jack, Jackson, and Nick. I don't think she belong in that category. If anybody... Look at who you're sitting next to or above, Bella. Bella belongs in that those four categories, not Christy in my opinion. Just my opinion. Um, so then when she got a they got a chance to talk. I think Jackson, Jack, and um Christy. Now, Jack, I honestly, truly, truly. I do believe his apology. I, I I do think that he learned from his 
ignorance. I can't, I do. And I know a lot of people will say no, but he was in that jury for a long time. And for seven days straight, he was in there by himself. And he had a lot of time to reflect. That's just what I think. I, I really, I truly think that Jack did grow in that time, in that little bit of time. Now, Christy gave her answer, and I initially said bad answer, initially. But now that I think about it, I feel like her answer was pretty real. Because after what Kimmy said, I was like, yeah, that's true. Because she said she adores Kimmy, she likes Kimmy, she doesn't remember anything that she said that was bad, but she will watch it and she will call Kimmy personally to apologize if she sees anything. So, it, which she said, I probably will if you're telling me this. So I think Christy actually probably gave the best answer. Because Jackson's sounded rehearsed. Jack, or Jack's sounded rehearsed. Jackson, Mickey, whatever, probably gave the worst answer, I would say. Um, and he kind of was like laughing and smiling, up, smirking about it too. So I'm, I'm not even going to go into what Jackson said because what's next is worse. So Julie calls him out basically about the camp director and about being racist. And I truly do think that his response was shocked. Like, he was truly shocked to hear that. I really do think that. David said that he did not think that Jackson's act was racist. David didn't think that it was racist. Where am I going with this? I'm drawing a blank. I'm having a brain fart. So J David didn't think it was racist. He, he truly believed what Jackson said. Something like that. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. I had, I literally had a brain fart. Um, so then they get to the... Well, Jackson kept trying to apologize and stuff. Like, he, he truly don't think he racist. And he don't know what he did. That was so bad. I, I'm really mad because I had a point, but I, I, I can't remember. I had a brain fart. It happened to the best of us. I, I watch a lot of reviews where people have brain fart. I'm just... It, this is my first time happening to me. I'm kind of mad. So, Nick Bella Cat. Love Triangle. I... Honestly, do think that Nick was in a bad situation because he did. Because Bella's response was, I told you don't make me look stupid and you made me look stupid. Nick, uh, he said, I didn't want you to see it on the show. I didn't want it on the show. I wanted to talk to you first. I think I can respect that. I honestly can respect that. I'm more disappointed than Kat. I'm truly more disappointed in Cat because not only is it just Nick, but you knew his situation. It's girls like you. It's girls like you. Or people like you, Cat. Like, I'm sorry. And I really like Cat. I really like Cat. Um, yeah, so then we go to the votes. And I just wrote down who voted for Holly because I wanted to see who voted for Holly. That's what I was looking for because I knew Jackson won at this point. Or at least the, the Twitter account was from Big Brother Daily or something like that. So. Um, or cbs.com, so I don't know. So, Nicole, Jessica, and Kat all voted for Holly. Jackson won before they even showed the last two, um, which were been Kat and Jack. So, basically, Jackson won by a vote of two to seven, or no, three to six. The only people that didn't vote for him for Nick, Jessica, and Kat, which is understandable, except for Nicole. I thought Nicole would have voted for Jackson. Jessica... Jessica respects the game that Holly played more because that's what Jessica wanted to do. Jessica took out big targets and she tried to lay low. Uh, Kat is friends with Holly, so of course. I wish they would have brought that up too, the, the knowing each other stuff. I wish freaking Tommy didn't tell. It would have been a better like thing to see it here. Uh, Jackson won and was so hurt and just, he made a big scene. It took forever to walk out and all this stuff. Um he said he wished his family's proud of him. <laughs> I just thought about when he walked out. When he walked out, it's like the crowd was not cheering that much. And I did hear a little bit of boos at first. But when he walked out and the confetti went off, they did get louder. And there was no boos. But the people on the house just stood there. But I guess they supposed to for like five seconds or something. Because then people went up and hugged. And I don't know. I really w wish I knew what my brain fart was about. It was something about David. I forgot. I really forgot. Oh, so J Julie asked Kat, uh, Kimmy, did she accept the apologies? And I, I, I thought she was going to be like, I accept this one and this one, but not this one or something like that. But she had a really good answer, which I think was the best answer, which was, I think you should know what you're apologizing for, which 
I feel like Christy, that's when I was like, okay, Christy gave a good answer because that makes sense. It made sense when Ke when Kimmy said it. So that's why I, I, I think Christy's answer was good and it was true and it was all that stuff. Uh, so then we get to America's favorite player, Cliff, Tommy, and Nicole. Really? I thought it would have been, well, Tommy, all right. I'll give him a pass. But I thought that it was going to be like Nicole, Tom, maybe Tommy, and I just thought Kimmy was going to be in there. And I thought that would have been nice if it was just Kimmy in there. So it would have been like a slap in the face to all the grateful, like boom, 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 slap. But Nicole ended up winning. I'm so happy that she won. She deserved it because she was, she was, uh, just, I just wish she wasn't attached to Cliff because he was just not a good player. They said to apply for next year. I will apply, but this is the thing. I think that people who make reviews are less likely to get picked. I honestly, truly do. This is what I think. I think that if you are on YouTube talking about the show, or even if you're like big on Twitter with the show, because I have got retweeted and um, uh, like uh, commented, like Robin Casting commented on a couple of my tweets and on my Instagram posts. And it's not like, oh, she'll remember that. But, like, it's real easy to find if you ever had an interaction with this person. So, I just feel like people who do reviews and are big with Big Brother on Twitter are less likely to get picked. That's just me. That's just what I think. But I will be re re what's it, auditioning for next year. Wish me luck. Uh, I think that this season is... I think it was a horrible winner for a horrible season. Uh... But, see, even me saying that, like, this is about to be on YouTube forever. And I'm not tweeting that because I, that will be on Twitter forever. And I just feel like me saying that, and even, like, if I was to tweet that, if they were considering me, because you have to put your social media, they would put in, well, I would think that they would do this. Put in your social media, and they would, you can put in somebody's name, and then type in, like, things that you want to see if they they said this. So, let's say... They don't want anybody that's homophobic on the show, right? So they're going to type in, let's say David, right? Or Kat. So Catherine, so that's her name, She's Catherine. So they would type in Catherine's Twitter name and then put because that's a race, that's a, that's a, um, a homophobic slur. So anytime she tweeted something with the word in it, or if she even replied to something with that word or anything like that, it would show up. So if they she see if they see that she oh homophobic we don't want this person on the show but then like they've had people who have said that, you know or like cat they type in the n word see if she has used like a racial slur or uh, maybe they type in cat and then they type in just big brother or they type in cat and then they type in hashtag bb20 to see what she was saying about bb20 and if the first thing that pops up if she said oh I'm done with this show I hate this this was horrible season. They might not want to, you know. So, or if they type in Lorenz, like me, and they see all these reviews of every, you know, I just feel like they're less like, I don't know. That's just me. That's just me. But thank y'all for everybody that watched this video, this 23-minute video. <laughs> uh, Yeah. I do like Big Brother. They didn't mention Celebrity Big Brother in the ending, did they? They did not mention Celebrity Big Brother. Do I think Jackson deserved his win? No. Because he's not a good person. Not a good person. To me, you got to at least be a good person, even if you played a phenomenal game. And then he walked out, he was mad, whatever. Um, oh, and then, this is what I want to mention. When she went over to Holly, that's when I remembered that Holly was even in the picture because she, she asked her a question. And she was like, not too shabby. I'm like, yeah, I forgot that you were even a thing. What happened to you? I forgot about her. Like... Once she gave that speech, that was it. They never talked to Holly again. And she was a part of Grateful. <laughs> like, Kimmy didn't mention her name. They did, like, none of them. Like, Holly was done. Like, even when uh, the first key that Julie took out said Holly, I still didn't remember that Holly was part of this. I even wrote in my notes, people who voted for Holly. And I just forgot about her. She was like an afterthought, a nobody. But I feel like she should have won. Yes, I do. I feel like she should have beat Jackson. All she needed was Tommy and Christy. Because those are the ones that I feel like she could have got. I don't think she was going to get Annalise or um, Jack or Nick. So, or, and then Cliff is whatever. 
Cliff, Cliff basically, Cliff would have voted for Jackson if it was Jackson and Nicole. You can't convince me he wouldn't have. But, and, and I hate that he was in the final three for America's favorite player because he should know that his game was horrible. But that's it, y'all. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share the video all for on social media. Go back and check out all my other reviews from Big Brother 21. This Go check out my review for Big Brother 20 because I don't even remember doing reviews for Big Brother 20, but check those out, okay? And Celebrity in Canada. Apparently, I don't even remember doing all these, but I did them. They don't get no views. <laughs> Catch you later.